This week, Gambling Compliance hosted the first of a series of free workshops on Europe's soon-to-regulate gambling markets. Spain was first up for discussion, and Gambling Compliance's subscribers gathered at London's Shoreditch House Club to hear from Barcelona lawyer Xavier Munoz and gambling data's Scott Longley. Public debt concerns have added urgency and unpredictability to the process of regulation in Spain, so our experts spoke about the timing and structuring of a new market that is already estimated to be worth a quarter of a billion euros. Well, I mean, we know that it's going to be regulated, we know that licenses are going to be granted, we know that uh, the central unit, you know, the platform can be outside of Spain, although it has to be monitored by the Spanish uh, authorities. So uh, we know there's uh, all these uh, will, uh, but we don't know the details of, uh, you, know, how, uh, you know, how this will, will happen. I think there's, uh, you know, problems in uh, various fronts. I mean, one uh, of the issues that is being discussed in uh, Parliament is the licensing system. If this uh, has to be uh, through a tender process or it should be, you know, just uh, granting uh, authorizations to any company that fulfills their requirements, that's uh, a main issue. Another open issue is taxation. Now uh, they're talking about 25% uh, on the win, but of course, uh, you know, operators want to bring uh, this to a lower, uh, to a lower uh, range, rate and uh, also technical issues, homologation of equipment, a certification of equipment is also an open uh, end, and you know, various other description of the games, uh, it's, a, it's another uh, open uh, issue, so there's various uh, open issues at the moment. It's been a l long process, and uh, the autonomous regions have always asked uh, the state to pass the online uh, gambling law before the autonomous regions would pass it. Uh, however, because the state uh, has been so slow, uh, some autonomous regions have already started uh, since some years ago passing their own laws like uh, Madrid, like Basque Country, like Aragon, and all the others are also preparing it. And now it's reached the point that, uh, you know, there's a harsh uh, debate on uh, this issue and some autonomous uh, regions, uh, you know, are saying that they will go, uh, you know, follow the, the route and, uh, and even that, uh, you know, maybe they will not enforce uh, very seriously the fact of only playing from, uh, from the autonomous autonomous region. I mean, I think uh, by probably October, November, we'll have uh, the new law and, uh, and the new statutory uh, regulations uh, coming up. Uh, with the, from now until uh, probably uh, summertime, August, we'll have uh, the privatization of LIE and the separation of LIE and organization of the new uh, regulator separated from LIE. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, in the first semester of uh, 2012, uh, who the first uh, licenses will probably uh, start uh, being issued. I think we're going to see a regulated uh, market. The other question was a viable, viable uh, market for uh, international operators. I hope so. But, uh, you know, in terms of uh, viability, we'll need to see how profitable this market is. Uh, we think that uh, currently the grey market is probably worth between 210 to 250 million euros. That's net gaming revenue. I assume in Spain that perhaps more of the operators that are currently in the market will definitely get licenses from the off therefore the, the market will uh, from the off will probably be about the same size as the grey market and every every uh, analyst would seem to suggest that the possibility is that the market grows because more people are able to advertise uh, however uh, as I said before with recent figures from sports and bets suggesting there's something of a recessionary impact and whether that would affect a, a regulated market is very much hard to say. Obviously Bwin.Party will have a very big say in that market, but operators such as Unibet, um, 888, both of which have failed to gain, gain a foothold in the, the French market, will be much more determined to get a foothold in the Spanish market. But then you're also talking about those that are waiting in the wings and you have Cadira, Sursa, which are huge gaming companies in Spain. Cadira in, in particular will be very interested in getting involved in the online market. Uh, and has its own sports betting operation called Victoria Apoestas. Uh, and then Labrooks is in, uh, has a joint venture with Sursa, which is called Sportium, which is likewise looking at the sports betting market. Uh, and there will be others, um, obviously, waiting in the wings, such as PokerStars, will be very much willing to take a license and be looking to take a big market position in, in Spain.